the bell icon to turn on notifications. Another app in Windows that's worth knowing about is the snipping tool. And whilst this isn't new for Windows 11, it has been available in older versions of Windows, it tends to be one of those utilities that people forget is there. And it can be super useful. So I wanted to make sure that I did include a little lesson on how to use this snipping tool. Well, what exactly is the snipping tool? I'm going to show you an example using an Excel spreadsheet. Now you'll find the snipping tool in the start menu. And if you go across to all apps, and you can either search for it or you can scroll all the way down to the S section, you'll find it in here. And it's this one that looks like a pair of scissors. So let's click to open the snipping tool. Now this is just a very small little app. It's a floating window that you can see in the corner just here. And what it allows you to do is basically take screenshots. Now historically, the way that people have taken screenshots in Windows is to use the print screen button. And quite often using the print screen button was a little bit cumbersome. I know for me, when I used to use it often, I didn't want a screenshot of the entire screen. I just wanted a screenshot of something on the screen. Well, with the snipping tool, we can do that. We can define the area that we want to snip. Now, the most important thing when using the snipping tool is that you need to have what it is that you want to snip directly behind this floating window. So I want to snip some things from this home ribbon in Excel. So I'm going to make sure that I've got Excel directly behind my snipping tool. Let's click on new and notice that my screen has now faded out and my cursor has changed to a crosshair. I can also see I have a little floating menu at the top, which allows me to select what type of snip I want to make. So the default here is to choose a rectangular area to snip. But I could choose a freeform snip where I choose the exact outline. I can choose a window snip, which will snip the entire window, or a full screen snip, which is more akin to the old print screen option. Now I'm going to choose the rectangular snip, and all we need to do is drag this crosshair over whatever it is that we want to snip. So I want to snip a little bit of this ribbon. So I'm going to drag over the area that I want to snip. And my snip is now going to open in its own little window. And I have a few different options here. If we take a look at these icons in the middle, this group of icons here allows me to make annotations on this snip. So if I wanted to do something like choose a pen color and maybe underline certain things, I'm doing this with a mouse, that's absolutely awful, but hopefully you get the idea. I can do that. I can choose to highlight. I can select a highlight color and highlight certain things on this snip. I've got an eraser tool there, which is probably going to be my best option. I'm going to erase all ink. I can turn on a ruler. I can do some touch writing if I have a touch screen. I can crop the image. So if I want even less of this image, I can drag that border in like so, and then click the tick in the middle to redefine that snip area. Once I've customized and annotated my snip so that it looks how I want it to look, I then have a few different options. In the top right hand corner, I can choose to save this zip as its own individual image file, or I can copy the snip. And I will say that I tend to use this copy command more than save. So what I can do is I can click copy and I can then paste it into whatever application I want to paste it into. So let's just open up Word. We'll open up a blank document. And all I need to now do is Control V to paste, and it's going to paste that snip in. So I find this super useful if I'm putting together training manuals, because I can snip different things that are going to help make that manual more visual and easier to follow. Now, another really cool feature of the snipping tool is that you can set it on a delay. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, when you click the new button for the snipping tool, it immediately grays out your screen and puts you into this rectangular snipping mode ready to snip. But what if I want to snip requires me to click a drop down menu first because I want to snip the contents of this menu. Well, I can delay the snip. So what I can do here, 
I can go up to this first group of icons and notice I have a little clock here and when I hover over it says time before snip. So I can choose no delay, snip in three seconds, snip in five or snip in ten. So I'm going to say snip in five seconds. So now when I click that new button it's going to wait for five seconds which gives me time to click this drop down and now the snip is active and I can easily take a snip of this drop down menu. Let's take a look at one final option. We've used the rectangle mode both times. Let's now do full screen mode. If I select that and click on new, it's simply going to take a screenshot of the entire screen. And I can then go in, use my annotation tools, save the file or copy it. Don't forget, we have our three dots at the end there where we can access settings and we can make some adjustments to how this application functions. So the snipping tool is a really useful free utility that comes with Windows 11 that's going to help you take screenshots. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.